Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode Number 8, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to next week's episode of Breaking Bad, and by God Almighty, am I nervous and also excited for it, man. The way we ended last week's episode, Hank, I really hope he's not dead, but I also wouldn't be surprised. I, I would be surprised, but I, I, I'd find it believable if he died. I don't know. I don't know if that's making sense. I talked about it last week. I've talked about it a handful of times, man. You know, I could see his character dying. I really hope he doesn't. But I don't know, man. He got hit like four or five times. None of them were kill shots. I mean, you get shot that many times, you bleed now. Again, last week's episode, I talked about it a little bit. It was in a public place. It was going on for a while. I feel like somebody should have called the 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 the, the cops early on in the shootout. You know, that whole shootout was probably what two minutes, maybe. So maybe an ambulance is already on the way with cops and stuff. Maybe they can get to Hank and save him. Obviously, one of the twins is for sure dead. The other twin is either going to be dead from bleeding out or is just completely fucked, bro. He got crushed between two cars. Um, I think he was moving a little bit at the end of last week's episode. That's kind of the main thing I'm nervous about and worried about, but I'm excited to see what happens with it. Jesse and Walt are supposed to be cooking together again. I'm excited to see how that dynamic is going to be now. You know, obviously with them being partners, so to speak, you know, 50-50 and Jesse kind of holding his own and standing up for himself. And also after his kind of breakdown last week, I hope that there's some change in Walt and he, you know, starts to maybe treat Jesse differently as opposed to the way he was treating him before because, you know, Jesse really doesn't have anybody. And Walt, Walt could be that person for him, whether it's like a mentor or not, or like a father figure or not. Whatever it is, man, I, I hope he actually is there for Jesse and he's, he doesn't treat him the way he was before, man, you know, because I do feel bad for Jesse throughout this story, but I am excited to see what we have in store. So guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below to you guys when you see next video, and drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below, but we're going to go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode it's crazy too like jesse's getting out of the hospital from his injuries and stuff and hank is probably gonna be going in barely alive i wonder if hank or anybody else is gonna think maybe jesse had something to do with it as revenge and that's why he didn't have press charges but i mean at this point you know you would say they probably wouldn't think jesse has those connections but at this point hank probably thinks anything's possible Jesse's ready to go cook, man. Injuries and all. Damn, bro. They did a good job with the makeup and the effects on him. If you'd like to smoke, you need to be another 20 feet from the door. Roll me further, bitch. Yeah. Damn, those ambulances are probably the ones going for Hank, huh? Or is this... Oh, it's... Is it pulling in or is it leaving for him? No, nah, it's pulling in. Jesse's gonna see him, huh? Male Caucasian. Early 40s, Damn, Jesse's gonna wounds. see him too. It appears pale and diaphoretic. How many entry wounds? We found four. Shoulder and four hip shots. through and through. Right lung and lower left quadrant. No visible exit wounds. Damn, all the bullets stayed inside of him too. Jesse probably can't believe that. Dude, I hope they save him, man. I, I, I hope they can. I didn't expect Jesse to find out about that. Maybe through Walt, but not just seeing him. How you feeling? You okay? Fuck no. Actually. I'm great. Man. He feels like Hank got Hank got what he deserved, probably. You know what I mean? He's like he, he it's probably because, you know, he's not pressing charges no more, so he feels like Hank's getting off scot free for beating him, but now he sees he's not pressing charges, he gets to go cook, and Hank got fucked up, so he probably feels like, damn, he got what he deserved. You know, which is fucked, but I mean Hank's been going through so much shit, bro. Seeing all sides of the story, it's fucking sucks. I set up the entire lab. Yeah, you he was the you one liked too. the configuration, and I do. For the most part, it, it, it's as if I'm classical, but you are are more jazz. He's like, I can be classical. And oh, this is Jesse. Shit. Damn. Man, this is the ball. Bad timing. Oh shit. He's like, this is my fucking replacement. What's up, partner? Oh, dude, this is so awkward. I guess this is. Yeah. 
Dear mother of God. Jesse, you're making it worse. Bro, he's gonna probably rub in that Hank got shot too. Dude, I feel bad for Gail. That's so awkward, man. Especially with Jesse coming in. He's like, dude, classical. We've only got a couple days before our next batch is due. And I need to get you up to speed. You haven't talked to anybody today other than, you know, Captain Nerd there. He doesn't know about Hank. Why? Your brother-in-law. Damn, man. He's telling him. At least he's not rubbing it in or anything and he's letting him know. Yeah, that's probably why Jesse said what now is because he thought he knew about Hank, huh? Oh. Pulse. Get a uh, blood pressure cup or an ABI. Where's that? Oh, blood? they're saving him. Damn, they're saving the other twin, huh? I mean, because we know one of them, you know. I shot him four times. <laughs> oh, Christ. They're going to know it's the cartel, though, right? Because of the dude, huh? I mean, maybe they'll know. Right now, all we know is two men ambushed Hank. They didn't have any ID on him, probably Mexican nationals. Their tattoos indicated an affiliation with the drug cartel. Could be in relation to an investigation that Hank was working, or it could be a message to the DEA in general. Bro, well, he probably feels a little responsible. Why didn't Hank have his gun? Marie he was suspended. The assault charge. I had to suspend Hank pending the investigation. That means he didn't I have his gun, but he had a gun in the car with him. You know, he wouldn't have had to take things into his own hands, and he would have had a gun and could have defended himself. Right. No, just. just She's looking for somebody to blame. What kind of partner are you? Domi wasn't even here. You were supposed to back him up, and where were you? Where were you? She's just looking for someone to blame, man. I mean, Gomi, he got a promotion. That's nowhere near his fault. You could argue his, but I mean, he had to. He had to suspend him. The DEA is not welcome here. She's just looking for someone to blame, man. She's hurt. This Pinkman, Hank was looking for. I would have never even heard his name if you hadn't bought marijuana from him. She's gonna blame him now. You're looking for someone to blame and it's understandable, but don't blame Walt. It's not his fault. Kinda, it kinda is. Not kinda, it straight up is. I feel for Marie, man. It's like, it sucks, dude. This, this all sucks. <sighs> Everybody's here for Hank. Cause he knew he lost a lot of blood probably bro being shot four times i mean shit it sucks the bullets didn't go out but i mean it, it might have almost saved some blood from leaving his body without them going straight through huh jesus jesse hello, 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 hello. jesse you gotta take this shit serious man and please don't tell badger or skinny p about this man i wonder if he's gonna talk with gus again at all I'd say maybe he should cook a batch by himself, but with all this different equipment from what they were using on the RV, he probably doesn't know. Walter White, the nearest courtesy phone. Walter White, please. Jesse. What are you doing, man? Why are you calling? I'm just cooking my own. You will do no such thing. Why not? Well, uh, for starters, you aren't the least bit familiar with any of the equipment. It's gotta be some sort of manual, right? And I can read. Jesse, touch nothing. Hey, tell your douchebag brother-in-law to head towards the light. Damn. That's fucked up. But, I mean, Jesse hates him right now. Hey, did you know who that was? She doesn't want to hear lies no more. Don't even try it. Well, there's no point, bro. You guys, like, there's no point. You guys are done. What's, like, stop. Stop. You've got good eyes. Look at that. Marie, those are just water spots. So it's fine. Those are not water spots. It's dirt. She's just looking for someone, something to take anger out on. Do you think that sick people aren't eating with this bacteria-infested silverware? My God, how are you supposed to survive this death trap? She's just worried for Hank, man. People grieve in different ways. People worry in different ways. I didn't want to act like it, but I was terrified. All I could think of was how they were actually going to cut me open. Ah, stop. Take out a part of me. He's trying to help her, but it's making it worse, bro. We hit every green light. I mean, every single light that we hit, green. 
all I could think about was, why today can't I just spend a few extra minutes in the car with my family? I never wanted to be stuck in traffic so bad in my life. I survived this place. And I'm not half the man your husband is. Skyler's thinking, damn, he was terrified and stuff and maybe trying to see well, she's getting to see where his headspace at was with all this cancer stuff and why he, he's changed and is different, you know, kind of like Marie told him the other, told her the other episode, like how Hank was different after almost dying and how it must have changed Walt. You know, she's getting to see it did change him and his thought process and where his head was and stuff. De mis muchachos? I heard that they attacked the DEA agent. Why would they do that? ¿Qué onda? Ya no tengo hablar español, eh? Mm, fuck. Está bien. I didn't order this, and my men would never do this on their own. Someone gave the go-ahead. He's gonna be mad at Gus. We lay low, and then we get the real story from my man who survived. Your man is in custody. Dios bendiga America. He's innocent until proven guilty, correct? I'll get him the best lawyer. Damn, man, I didn't even think about that, how that could affect Gus, him surviving, man. He's gonna have to get him killed, huh? I can't really say, it could be ours, but we'll let you know just as soon as you can see him. At least he's out of surgery, man. But hopefully he stabilizes quick because this got to feel like days, man, sitting here waiting. Is anyone else dying to brush their teeth or is it just me? Mm, he's just trying to get out to cook. Marie, I could swing by your place. That'd be great. Thanks, Walt. Walt's going to go swing by the lab and cook a batch and make sure Jesse's good. Skylar's probably going to try and go with him, isn't she? This is Hank's brother-in-law, Walt. Good to meet you. Hi. This is crazy. Just Hank stories. Well, that, could, that could go on all day. God knows there's a million of them. You ought to see what Hank did to that bastard. Want to see? They gonna take him in there to see? Damn. Bro, yeah, I'm surprised they... I mean, they probably do want to kill him, but they can't exactly do that, you know what I mean? Are his legs cut? Cut off? Oh, fuck, dude. He's gonna see Walt. Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit, bro, he's gonna go for him. Even with his legs fucked. Bro, he don't give a fuck. Cause he originally wanted Eisenberg, now he wants him even more. Oh my god. Look at this shit, bro. I mean, we learned from Tio that they don't talk to the cops. They don't help him no matter what. So I'm not really worried about him ratting on Walt, but like, fuck, dude. Walt seeing him and knowing like, damn, he wants me dead. I thought maybe Jesse would be taking this shit serious, bro. He's going to fuck something up and maybe be the reason they get exposed. He really tried that shit, bro. Dude, he's gonna get so bored, he's gonna try and start cooking on his own and fuck something up, man. Like, just go home, Jesse. Don't make that shit pop. Uh, wall. Finally, about damn time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought it was Walt. That was a good shot because it seemed like it was him. Yo, we got problems. Just right with all those cops behind him. So nice of you to call. He kept saying that that someone was coming up from Mexico to get us. Do you remember? No. Who was that? What the hell has this even got to do with? It was his cousins. Yeah. Cousins. Whatever, man. Why? They're the ones who shot Hank. He knows he's to blame more and more, bro. He already felt that earlier with Marie. Now he, now he really knows. Oh, I think I'm gonna go wash my face. I'm going crazy. Do you wanna come? Yeah. Are Walt and his son gonna have a moment? It seems like his son's pissed at him. He hasn't really talked to him or nothing. Probably pissed for leaving, huh? Pablo Escobar, this big drug guy in, in the 80s. Yeah. Seeing him on the news. It's gonna be a comparison, well, it, huh? It, it, it's it's more about the guys who investigated him and tried to bring him down. Some of them were DEA, you know? Uncle Hank said that they were worth learning about. That everybody knows who Pablo Escobar is, but nobody knows about the guys that brought him down. 
good guys never get inked like the bad guys do. Yeah. It's the way it goes normally. It sucks because Hank's the good guy in the situation. Walt's the bad guy, you know what I mean? He's the Pablo of the situation and Hank's obviously the DEA. We're not going to be able to keep our schedule this week. But not for a lack of trying. Is there something I should know? Uh, well, to be completely honest with you. Tell him. Gail, really, screw this up. Ah, uh, bro, if he, if he just told him, I feel like it would be something Gus would understand since Gus put him in that situation. But still, I don't know. Gus is a businessman. Because the thing is, he can't just be like, I know about your brother. We will, we will do whatever it takes. I, uh, it has my total attention. We'll cook through the weekend. He can hear the cars outside. We will have 400 pounds for you by next week. Bro, uh, if you would have told him, I think Gus was looking, you know, fishing for Walt to tell him what's going on with his brother. Because obviously, I feel like he, he knows. Well, maybe not fully know. Well, yeah, because he has to know because he had to have been the one to call Hank. So he had to have been near or something to see what was going on, no? Like, I think he's fishing to, for Walt to tell him so that he can know more. And maybe he does feel for him a little bit because Gus isn't a bad guy. It's not like he wants... D agents are good people to die. He's just a businessman trying to make his money. Who they are, what they wanted? Nah, nothing yet. But we'll get it. Walt's gonna have to kill him. Nobody's getting to Hank. That was their one shot and they blew it. Walt's gonna have to find a way to kill him because if he talks, Walt's fucked because he knows who Walt is. But I mean, I don't think he'll talk to cops, you know, just like Tio. But Walt doesn't know that. Walt is a big booster for the DEA. You heard what happened? He's gonna feed every cop in the building. Hmm. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah, and apparently he's bringing it by personally. Mm. Shit, it's gonna be Gus. Damn. Yeah, maybe that's how Gus is gonna try and kill him. That's crazy. Good, huh? Very good. Delicious. Is Gus gonna just, just be right here and they gotta act like they don't know each other? Guys, did you hear that? Yep. Mr. Fring is offering a $10,000 reward on any information about the case. Wow. It's wonderful. Wow. Thank you, Mr. I love this show. You're very welcome. I mean, we know Gus really does see them as animals. He doesn't like them, and they don't like him, but businessman at the end of the day. Mr. White, your name came up. Really? <laughs> this is Walt's yeah, first time hearing that he knew about Hank. Are out for you. We spoke briefly about your health concerns. I hope that there's been good news. It was clear to me how deeply he cares for you. Well, I've taken up enough of your time. Bro, what a scene. Walt's like he knew this whole time about Hank. Dude, these the, the way they set up these scenes is just phenomenal, man. Is this some sort of message? I'm supporting my community. I hide in plain sight, same as you. Yep. Are we done? No, no, listen, I, this attack on my brother-in-law, I don't. I don't understand it i don't know what it means i'm sure they'll be fine i am told the assassin that survived is gravely injured it's doubtful he'll live i wonder if that's a little nudge that maybe he before he left or at some point maybe off camera he did something to make sure he would die oh yep yep gus made sure he died what did he do poison him or something 843 time yeah. of death 2043 Vernon Howe, you piece of shit. All that information dies with him. He knows that that was Gus. Oh no, it was Gus's guy. Yeah, but I mean, still at the end of the day, it was Gus in a way, right? Wow, man. Dude, this show is absolutely phenomenal. Meanwhile, I have Federales surrounding my house. You know what I think, Gustavo? I think you're behind all this. Mm. Why would I do this? How would it serve me? That's the part I'm trying to figure out. Go off on your own, maybe? I'll weather this, I always do. My brother's a police chief. I got connections. They'll get me through. And when I get proof, and the others find out what you've done, maybe we come pay you a visit. Oh, shit. Is that the police? Oh, fuck. Oh shit, Gus, damn, Gus wanted all that shit to happen too, huh? He is going off on his own, is that what it is? 
dude, he really cut ties with the cartel and shit for Walt, essentially, you know? He did all this for Walt, basically. I mean, for him, too, obviously, but, I mean, Walt's kind of his investment, right? They killed off Walt. They killed off him. I mean, I guess there's all with the cartel, there's always another person, right? Bro, I can't, I, like, there's so much to process, dude. I just, what a phenomenal show, man. He's in rough shape, but I think he's going to pull through. Just, he, things are going to be different, man. I wonder if Walt's thinking maybe if the cousins told Hank anything about him before he, you know, before they shot him, before he died. I wonder if that's running through his head for Walt. You know, what does Hank know? Man. I, dude. My, huh? Holy. Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode 8 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot get over how phenomenal this show is, man. Every episode, it's better and better, and the writing is just... The way they set these scenes up, man, like... It had, like before, you know, when Gus went to the DA's office where Hank was at and talked with him and everything, I was like, oh my god, bro. This is insane. And the way he did this too, you know, he like he's told Walter, he hides in plain sight, bro. Like they would never fucking guess. He's the one running all this drug shit. Just like they never guess that he's Heisenberg, man. You know, like he donates all the, he, the meals to them, the chicken. He comes to the hospital, let's basically showing up saying, Walt, I know what's going on. I know you're lying. I know you're not telling me the truth. You know what I mean? He tells Walt, like, I know about your brother and everything. Like, dude, so much happened in the, just in that scene and seeing his guy, I don't like, I don't know his name. The guy that has, you know, does all the bidding for, you know, Gus, the one that set up the cameras at Walt's house. I don't know if they've even said his name yet. I don't think they have. Maybe I missed it. I know they don't say it much if they have said it, but he was the one to kill the twin, the other twin anyway, like, bro, that scene where he, you know, got out of the bed when he saw Heisenberg, that's pure rage driving him, man, pure revenge, like, think about it, they killed Tuco, he, you know, Heisenberg's essentially responsible for his cousin Tuco dying, and now for his brother dying, like, he saw him, it was pure rage, bro, you know, now, granted, just like, just like Teal, I'm assuming they wouldn't never talk to the cops or tell him anything to help him, I mean, they're not OG OG like him, so maybe, but I doubt it, but, I mean, killing him, Killing him, best thing that could happen for Walt. You know, he's not worried about that information getting out no more. But, you know, you see Walt's face in there. There's probably a, a, a bunch of things running through his head, right? One, that he's responsible for this happening to Hank. Two, what does Hank know? You know what I mean? Did these guys tell Hank anything? You know, did they tell him your brother's Heisenberg? Did, like, did they say anything before killing him or, or before they died? You know, so he's probably thinking, what does Hank know? And three, he's probably sitting there like, wow. Look at all this shit I've caused, you know, like with what Marie had told him earlier in the episode, he's, he's probably thinking I I've caused all this stuff to happen to him. And when you think about it, Walt really is the cause of everything that's been happening to Hank bad, you know, because he's, he, he started the blue mess shit and that's this whole investigation. He was gone cooking, you know, and he was, Hank was out looking for him when he was, you know, in his fugue state, right? which is what led him to Jesse and what led him to Tuco and killing Tuco. Killing Tuco is what led him to get the promotion to El Paso. Going to El Paso is what led to him having the PTSD from seeing people dying, obviously, which made it worse, uh, which started with Tuco, but it got way worse in El Paso. You know, going to track Jesse down in the RV, he would have had him had Walt not been there and called about Marie you know what I mean? Like all this stuff that's happening, the twins would have never been going after Hank had Hank not killed Tuco. The twins would have just killed Walt, even if all this situation was a thing, had Gus never had them go kill him. You know, like it's it's all Walt's fault for what's happening to him, man. And it's so sad. Like Hank, bro, going back to season one, like now things have gotten a lot more serious, but going back to season one, I remember Hank was always like the happy-go-lucky guy, the comedy relief for the show and stuff like that, I feel like, and his character just this last season has gotten so much more deep and, you know, we've really seen this other side to it and it's, it's, it's insane, man, it, it really is, but I feel like Gus, 
you know, feels for Walt a bit, a bit for the situation he's in. Because again, I don't see Gus as a bad guy. Like, yeah, he's moving meth and shit. It's, it is bad. But I mean, he's not like somebody who's going out here. He's not like the cartel. He's not like, you know, like these animals, so to speak, right? Like that's what he refers to him as the, the cousins, the twins killing people and stuff like that. And he, I think he wanted Hank to kill them. You know, granted, he did put Hank in that situation, but he did call and warn him. I think he, I think he wanted Hank to be able to kill him to get rid of them. You know, because I don't, I don't see Hank as or Gus is the type of guy to go around wanting DEA agents and police officers to just be killed just to be killed. You know, because at the end of the day, he's a businessman and he's not doing this shit because he's a bad person or a criminal or a killer, so to speak. But I don't know, man. So his cartel connections are kind of severed, no? at this point, or maybe they're not, maybe whoever, you know, moves into the spot where Juan was at, because I'm assuming he died right there, you know, maybe they'll continue business with Gus or not, you know, because like Juan had said over the phone, like, you're not thinking about going solo with this. And maybe he is now that he has Walt cooking for him, because I mean, he asked for Walt for three months of his time. But let's be real. Once he's in that shit, he's not just going to do three months and quit. You know, Gus is probably like, I'll say it's three months. At the end of three months, he's probably going to love it and we'll just continue on and have it be what it is, you know? So I don't know, man. This show is just absolutely phenomenal. I cannot get over the writing, the way they set up these scenes, man. Like with Gus coming to the hospital, favorite scene in the episode by far. And one of my favorite scenes in the show, dude. Him coming to the hospital with the chicken and everything, talking to Walt and his family, talking to all the police officers, like literally right there in plain sight, bro. It's just insane. And then Jesse at the lab, like, go home, Jesse. Go home, man. You're going to fuck something up at the lab, bro, you know? <laughs> but Breaking Bad, season three, episode eight is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.